having a hard time connecting or knowing how to deal with your stepchildren or bonus children, watch this entire video for some tips on what you can do to help you connect. Hi, I'm Esther of ThisBigHouse.com. If you are new to our channel, we share tips, vlogs, stories. We have some interviews from other blended family experts all to equip and encourage parents that are in blended families and learning how to become one family unit. So if you're looking for encouragement for your blended family, consider subscribing. So you're newly married or you've been married for a while and you just cannot seem to connect with your bonus children or your stepchildren or you just don't know how to deal with them. And I believe these three steps will help you um, get the process going or at least give you a better understanding of what might be happening with your stepchildren. All right, so step number one is keep in mind that they might still be grieving. So depending on how long their parents have been divorced or how long you have been married, while you might be excited to start this new union or the new family, you know, somebody got married, but the kids might see, might see it as a loss. They might see it as mom and dad are not gonna get back together. So they, they might still be in that grieving place, which will make it more challenging for you to have that connection with them right away. Step number two. Step number two in the tips that I, I believe can help connect the relationship between a step parent with a stepchild or bonus child is let them lead the relationship. And what I mean by that is let it be on their term because they're still processing different things that you might not be aware of. Don't be too aggressive in forcing yourself on them. Let them lead the relationship. And so if one day they're giving you an inch, be grateful for the inch. If the next day they're pushing you away, just give them their space. Just let them be the one that's leading the relationship in terms of the position that they want you to be in their life at this particular moment. Just remember, it's just for a moment. And so as long as you're being, you're being consistent in showing them you love them and you care about them and you care about developing a relationship with them, they will see it through time. But the main point is, let them lead it. So since we have our comments back, Comment below, let me know what are some ways or some tools that you've learned to connect with your children, particularly blended children. But this can also work for um, traditional families as well, as we know some teenagers can be going through different changes. So comment below and let me know what are some tools or some ways that you were able to connect with your bonus children or stepchildren. And for my final step is to do activities with them. <laughs> so some of the activities you can do anything like road trip or try and be in their world. What are they interested in? Are they into sports? Maybe you can go to a sporting event with them, even if you don't like their team. Mm. That might be a challenge for Jay. He's serious about the Browns. Anyways, but the point is you're, again, you're showing them you're interested and also stepping away from the house or even the city or the state might also open up different opportunities where they don't feel as closed in or as um, that might help them bring the wall down a bit more. So like I was saying, some activities can be sporting events or whatever extracurricular activities that they might be into. Family road trips, if you're into camping, you go camping. If you're into fishing, you go fishing. Just try and find ways to get into their world. Again, with no aggression, just trying to be available. Now you have some tips on how to handle your stepchildren or bonus children. If you like additional information or knowing how I was able to blend my family, definitely click on the link below. You can download a PDF on my secrets on how I was able to blend our family after making so many mistakes. And I pray that you will not make the same mistakes that I made. 
Thank you so much for watching this video. If you like it, go ahead and give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to share with someone that can use this information. And now that we have our comments back, comment below. Let me know what you think. Or how's your family, blended family going? How were you able to connect with them? How are you handling your blended families? We will see you on our next video. Bye, friends. Syracuse this weekend. <laughs> He's so loud. Who does that?